right guys so the days are inching closer and closer now we got full confirmation that for the month of october we are going to be getting gt buffs now you know surprisingly speaking gt has a lot of haters but at the same time it has its dedicated fans as well um as a matter of fact comment down below right now do you guys love gt do you guys hate gt and why personally for me i love everything dragon ball so i have no shade towards it at all i actually kind of like the designs of super saiyan 4s and you know just the characters in general I, I love it so there's no shade towards me at all uh but we do have full confirmation that we're gonna get a gt buff just a few days ago we got confirmation that we're gonna get a brand new sparking free to play super 17 now i'm i like super 17 a lot like i said i like their designs for gt i feel like they go a little bit more over the top with gt like omega shenron like super 17 kind of looks more I, I just feel like the style is a little bit more different and i like it uh now if you guys did not know uh, free to play units are a big deal because they hint as to what is going to be the next tags to be buffed now this super 17 holds a few tags in precise uh some few a few key ones we're not going to mention some of them uh, like merging tag and stuff like that we're not going to mention that but he holds um gt androids powerful opponent and fusion warrior now quick note he is part of the powerful opponent campaign technically speaking which is going to last through mid-october now um you know this does 99.9 percent .9%, um correlate to the next lf we're going to be getting to the next lf on another scheduled video uh tomorrow morning so i scheduled that for you guys but today we're gonna be talking about the next zenkai because this upcoming week we are overdue for a zenkai uh we did just coincidentally get back-to-back -back zenkais right now which was uh super saiyan sagas from the movies uh goku the uppercut goku or shuriken goku whatever you guys want to call it and now uh, we literally just got Lord Slug as well, which is Regen, which we're going to get to in just one bit. Now, um, if we just take a look, right, he holds GT, Androids, and all that good stuff. Now, for GT in specific, there is quite the lot of options, right? Like I said, he holds Fusion Warrior, Powerful Opponent. We're not going to count Merging, and we're not going to count Super 17 Saga, but we'll take a look at that in just one bit. And by the way, if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure you guys simply like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. I just forget to mention it all the time. I'm sometimes too much into my videos, but uh, yeah, you know, we're almost up to 100,000. So if you guys do find these videos informative and like the daily content, just hit that subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it as well. So uh, back into the video, guys. So for GT, like I said in the beginning of the video, there's a lot of dedicated fans, but there's a lot of haters as well. And I don't quite get it, maybe because GT is not really that canon. Uh, but specifically speaking, uh, there is five current tags right now that are characters that actually buff, um, you know, uh, four that buff GT and one that doesn't. But five characters in GT that actually have a Zenkai. Uh, the first one that actually does not buff, um, you know, GT whatsoever with their Zenkai ability is going to be the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Which, by the way, we are over. I love Super Saiyan 4 G. Dude, ignore that motorcycle in the back. Trying to look cool. Uh, but I love Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. I really do. His design is phenomenal. But he buffs a uh, Vegeta clan with the Zenkai. Now, if we just take a look to the right-hand side right here, this Goku right here actually buffs Red uh, GT. And then we also look at Super 17, which does have a Zenkai. Uh, he buffs Green. And then Purple for Super Saiyan 4 Goku, which buffs Purple GT. And then for Yellow, we also do have... Um, where's Yellow? Uh, do we have a Yellow buff? I think we do, right? Uh, a Yellow buff. I'm blanking right now, but we for sure do. Anyways, I, I I just don't remember, but we for sure have five. I know that because I counted pre, pre. Anyways, we don't have a blue is what I'm trying to say, right? So the blue in general, a fan favorite that everybody's been wishing for a long time is this Super Baby 2. Now, quick note, if this Super Baby 2 does get a Zenkai, he would be the third blue in a row. But Dragon Ball Legends doesn't really care. They don't pay attention to stuff like that, but... Um, we've also been getting region buffs at the same time. So there's a possibility that we might get a super baby two uh, Zenkai. I would absolutely love that. And I know a lot of you guys would too. Um, and if we're talking about LF, if they really want to bump back GT up to its prime, honestly, they could just Zenkai straight up the super Saiyan four dragon fist Goku and things would start shaping up to be quite nice. Now, a lot of you guys might be commenting down below. DB zoom. He does not need Zenkai. Yes, he does. Take a look at the meta guys. The meta, he does not. He, he's a good unit right he's not a bad unit but you need stars on him number one and number two uh if you really want to bump gt to its potential right because you can't just miniature buff this tag especially shallow tags because there's not that much to buff with gt in general now this would be a great zenkai in general the the last 
character we got for GT was this Omega Shenron, which came out October 2021. So it's been exactly one year, one year starting tomorrow, October 1st. So that's pretty crazy, guys. And then the 30th anniversary right here, which was this Super Saiyan 4 uh, Gogeta. So it's been well over a year since not even, not even GT got a buff, got a character in general. Now, that's pretty interesting, but I would love Blue or this Super Saiyan 4 uh, Dragon Fist Goku. Some of you guys are saying Sen Shenron as well. He has Endurance, so that'd be pretty cool. Or this Blue Super Saiyan 3 Goku would be pretty fun as well. So um, next up, we also do have Androids because he does hold the Android tag as well. Now, Android is a, there's such a flurry of tags here. Um, I mean, characters and colors. To be honest, um, they still do need help regardless, right? They got Perfect Cell and Android 17 and 18. But after that, I would consider it to be a solid drop-off. I mean, really, like, uh, they, they're covered on purple. They're covered on red. But if you just take a look at everything else, blue or green, I guess, because they just got the gammas. But they're definitely replaceable at the end of the day. I do like Gamma 1. Uh, but they got so many Zankais. They got Android 7, uh, 21, excuse me, the transforming one. They just recently got, not too long ago, this Android Fusion 13, right? Uh, they got just so many, um, you know, uh, I, I wish this perfect cell, this yellow perfect cell, would eventually get a Zenkai. I, I remember like a few months ago, he fell short second to the Saga's um, green Goku uh, to get a Zenkai in the voting polls. So I would absolutely love it. Um, now, really quick, guys, I do want to take a look at Super 17 Saga's GT uh, series episodes because there's an episode that revolves around this. And obviously, there's two Super 17s, and then there's just these two Kid Gokus right here, which fights the Super 17 in general. Now, I can possibly see this this Goku here does have Zenkai, but sometimes they do Zenkai extreme units as well. I can definitely see this character here uh, getting a Zenkai in their near future if they're going to buff GT, obviously, right? This is all speculation, guys. There's no guarantee that they're going to buff GT, but we do know that GT is going to get a buff uh, with Super 17 free to play. Now, in terms of the Legends Limited unit, I mean, honestly, um, I could make a full video on that, and I don't want to make this video too long because it's getting kind of late. So I scheduled a video for you guys tomorrow morning about the next LF for October, which is going to be the last Legends Limited unit before uh, the Legends Festival, which is going to be November, December, guys. So Please use your crystals wisely. I know we just got LF Cooler, which is primal. We just got a brand new ultra summonable Broly as well. So yeah, it's tough to save crystals, especially because they're, they've been penny pinching on their chrono crystals as well. So it's been kind of getting kind of tough. And by the way, I'm, I'm going to make a series on my, not only on my channel here of how to save crystals and get crystals for Black Friday and the Legends Festival. But also on my YouTube shorts. I'm going to start posting regularly on my YouTube shorts. So stay tuned for that. I like to make YouTube shorts. They're really, really fun. I'm pretty much going to dedicate at least one video to long format and short format as well. So stay tuned for that. But guys, that's going to wrap it up, man. Um, let me know in the comment section down below which Zenkai do you think is going to be next. Um, I'm hoping for Super Baby Vegeta. But who knows, right? It could be anything. It, it doesn't even need to be GT, right? But we do got this Super 17. Uh, coming very soon so it's got to be an indication of something especially the next lf so yeah guys that's gonna wrap it up if you did enjoy the video make sure you guys simply like subscribe and all that good stuff and i'll definitely catch you guys once again uh tomorrow morning have a good one peace